Ready. Three, two, one. Oh! What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy King Reptar here, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Camera flip. Stay lit. Because today, your day's about to get a lot brighter because your boy's here. So what we're going to be doing today, guys, as you guys know, I have become a very big fan of the axe. But I didn't really, I, mean, I liked an axe, but I'm like, you know, this is just a commercial axe. It's for, you know, for tool. So let me get a real axe. So I got a bunch of battle axes today. Well, actually three battle axes. And actually one of them I didn't even get. I bought the worst rated axe, battle axe, which is a double eight decided axe on Amazon. And I also bought the best one I could find on Amazon. But there's a catch. This time, Parker actually bought what he found was the, the best rated battle axe online. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and basically, I want you guys to decide whose axe is cooler, okay? Because there's a lot of like five star axes on there, but what you guys have decided is whose was the cooler axe. And the, the winner is going to get a $200 badass shopping spree. You can only use it for, for, for like weapons, a flamethrower, you know, something we can blow up, something we can break. That's the only things you can use it for. I like it, I like if it. If you win, but your boy's going to win. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> you think we should get started? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so that's where the axe was. I found the axe, but what it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. That's the axe. It's supposed to be a battle axe. It's supposed to be, you know, one of those axes. What kind of battle with that? Like? Maybe you assemble it. I don't, I don't. It's supposed to be one of those axes, you know, where it's got like a giant blade on both sides, like double sided battle axe. That's why I'm very curious with this box. Is there like three more boxes? I'm thinking maybe there's a blade here, a blade on top of that blade, and then on top of it, there's a handle. Okay. And then you assemble it. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, so marbles. Open every hour in the open. Sounds like my ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> if you're out there, just messing with you. Oh, bruh. Look at this dude. Did someone just attach an axe to a toothpick? That looks like a hairbrush. <laughs> this is not a mallet. It does not look like an axe. It looks like a, a Tonker toy. <laughs> but the worst part, you know what this was? This was $33. This is one of the most expensive, worst reviewed things I've ever bought. <laughs> $33. You know what it we can do with $33? Not this. Yeah, <laughs> not that. Yeah, not that. I can make it rain for at least 30 seconds. But damn, um, let's go see what it could do. All right, guys. So we're out here with little baby Huey. <laughs> this little, little sp cereal spoon. <laughs> let's see what it's capable of. The only thing I was thinking is maybe because it's tiny. You know how I feel. Why would you say that? Like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. It could be very throwable. It's kind of like a hatchet, and I, I've spent a lot of time throwing hatchets, so it shouldn't be too hard. Here we go. Well, if I was trying to hit my neighbor, that would've been great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the axe flew through, literally just broke it. That's what I was gonna say. It's like, you know, maybe the worst reviewed axe, but I think people probably, and honestly, the pictures, it looks a lot bigger than this. But, you know, if you use it for the right item, I think it might be decent. <laughs> I mean, I think I need a little more justification before I spend $33. I do too, because you can throw a lot of things, as I've, I've said before. You can, anything is throwable. All right, here goes the junk test. Is this thing even sharp? It doesn't really feel like it at all. Like, I'm rubbing it across my hand. <laughs> it starts bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> like, uncontrollably. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! Ooh, I felt good. I did. I felt like very axe murdery sheet. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the thing. And the axe seems to be. Well, I'm not gonna touch it, but like in good condition. Yeah, it seems to be. I mean, it's a definitely not war axe, but it's. I, I, it's basically a double sided hatchet. If someone came at you running, like you wouldn't be scared, but you'd be like, all right, I should probably like. You know, like I should probably be careful. Just, why is that guy running after me with the spoon? I call this the gallon flip. Don't do that. Okay, give him this little man a haircut. Oh God. <laughs> You know what? Pineapple's a nasty looking fruit. I, without that, thing, yeah, <laughs> without exactly. that other part, that's disgusting. I wouldn't eat that for a for a million dollars. I would for a yeah, million dollars. Even say. with that mold in the bottom, yeah. I'd eat for a million dollars. That's mold? That's mold. Yeah, that's, that's a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? <laughs> Honestly, it didn't even look like you did anything. It's, oh! <laughs> What the? F <laughs> I did not expect that at all. Well, it looked like you like not missed, but it didn't look like anything. I thought happened. I just like grazed the side. It was a <laughs> oh no, no, honey, it's just a wound. It's just a wound. I just scraped my leg. Legs falls off. <laughs> it's, oh. like, turned out a little bit more than a wound. Oh, get the prosthetic. <laughs> I would be more worried that he has a prosthetic just that hand. Like that. <laughs> yeah. this happens all the time. No, his leg just falls off. No, he took it from his kid. See you later, SpongeBob. 
And if you guys wonder how we clean things time. up, that's out. To be honest, I'm actually not a I, I get I think the listing they made it seem a lot bigger. I think that's why it has the bad reviews. Because I don't understand why it has bad reviews otherwise. It's not that bad. I mean it's not that bad, but it is like a bit deceitful. Yeah, but aren't we all? Alright, coconut test. I'm sure it has that, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Or it doesn't. Okay, well, well, I think we found out why it might be a worse reviewed product. I don't think it's like sharp enough to do this or have enough energy. You're gonna do it. I believe in you. I don't believe in much. Holy crap. Pretty good. It cracked on a little bit, but nothing really too crazy. Nothing like a, a real war axe probably would though. I didn't know if that was that or my tooth. I don't know why. <laughs> that got really scary real quick. I mean, it did it. Did it. Did it do it. It took four tries. I don't know. The thing about this axe is that it just makes the size of it is very demasculating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, like, yeah. Mm, this uh, is not threatening. I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> I'm going to really scratch you up. <laughs> I'm going to really cut your pinky toe. Can you imagine if Thor would have been like, this is Stormbreaker. <laughs> Everybody would have been busted up. Thanos would have been laughing. All right, so what we have here, guys, is a hard hat. Would you guys know we've tried a lot of objects and not much can break through it. And underneath it's a coconut. So that's the goal is to break it. I'm not sure if it's going to do it. It might be able to do it. Probably not. But besides the size, I really don't know why it has bad reviews. It's been pretty good overall. Honestly, I mean, it's an axe. I mean, it, it's doing its job. I mean, it, yeah, it's, it's pretty, not pretty a battle. Good. Yeah, so I mean, I'll give it four stars. The one star knockoff <laughs> because it's not that big. But it's still an axe. It's still working really well. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Right now, guys, this is it. Three, two, one. Here we go. Is it break? It, it's not broken. It's not. Oh my god! You're, you're kidding me right now, dude. <laughs> hey, well, I guess we there's our answer. answer. Yeah, we guess we found out, right? There's our damn answer as to why it got such poor reviews. Old reliable didn't deserve that. I guess the hard hat was too hard. As am I. All right, guys, so now it's for the best reviewed axe. And like I said, I bought one that I had already had in my list for a while. I've been looking for best reviewed weapons for a bit now. I found an awesome one I'm in love with. And I gave Parker the option to also go look for one. So he looked for another axe. And the goal here is for him to try and beat me. My goal is to beat him. Is so you got a cooler axe. It was also five star rated and great. Let's see who won. You guys will be the deciding factor. Parker's going to show you his axe. Then I'm going to show you mine. And we'll see who you guys decide wins. Let me. All right, so where's your weapon? Right here. <laughs> under this lush, this lush pig. Oh, what is this? Like a, this fluffy <laughs> this bear. Blanket. We want us under this fluffy blanket. We want to kill this bear with <laughs> what? This axe. Oh, dude, oh, that is actually so sick. It looks very familiar, so but <laughs> very familiar. you'll see mean? later. But <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah, check this out. I got like chainmail handle. That's not chainmail. It, it, I'm explaining. That's just a texture. It's got it's got like a this. Screw thing. It's got like a <laughs> nice wood handle. It's got oh sharp to the. Is it really yeah. sharp though? It's really sharp. Oh wow. Yeah, I had to come up with the rubber things. What is that top little like you this know like thing? one inch dildo you for? Just, yeah, you can just say, man. People are into that. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little stab in the butt cheek while you're at it. Stab in the butt cheek. You can just like stand it up and sit on it. You can, you can do whatever you want. Double sided axe, carbonium steel. That dude makes a point. I'm showing my axe. <laughs> Best axe. Okay, five guys, stars. this is Parker's five star axe. It is five stars. I actually saw this one when I was looking for mine. You guys let me know if you guys think this is sick, and then I'm gonna show you mine, and you guys can see who won. And I'm gonna say, after seeing that, I'm pretty confident. All right, now are you guys ready to see real power? No, I saw that. I saw that already. No, what are they? That was that was that was real flower. No, <laughs> <laughs> that was a real down. Well, let's just go. Okay. See, let's just go see what you got. Okay? I call this one El Diablo. What? You have to say essentially El Diablo. <laughs> you almost sound like you didn't say anything. El Diablo. El Diablo. Okay. The El devil. Diablo. You okay. Want to see it? I do want to see it. Oh, you ain't ready for it. So, like I said, it's very. Yours really had some. It's almost like yours was inspired by mine. Like mine. Was the the grail that it was aiming to be? Here it is. Three, two, one. El Diablo. Oh, <laughs> oh wait a minute. Uh, is that my battle axe, Zaras? It was. Yes, it was. Yeah, uh, it was sold out. It was sold out. Uh, now it's not. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> El Diablo! Well, you were the last person. That's why it was sold out. So this, unlike Parker's, is a wooden handle. Mine is made with a steel handle. Has actual chainmail on the bottom. Chainmail? 
Yours was a texture. I saw it. We all saw Yours it. Was a texture. Oh, that's nice. That's real chain mail. That's nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Down the bottom, we got mini Diablo. Mini Diablo. And then on top of it, big Diablo. <laughs> Just like this. And because of the center dog bike chain, it has so much weight that it is just, oh. Oh, this is a semi truck. <laughs> Split completely in half. <laughs> I saw somebody do it the same act. So, since I think I won, you, you know, guys let me know down below. I think that yours is over the top. Mine's just, you know, it's really sick and simple. This is better. Well, I'll let you guys decide who really won. Let me know down below in the comments who won. Was it your boy, King Reptar, or did Parker win with his uh, textured handle? <laughs> This thing is literally the same size as a melon. <laughs> this is a monster. This is a monster in my hands. This is a, a criminal. <laughs> I just spit for a criminal. Somebody in the last video said um, there should be a, a, a compilation of all the times ADHD accidentally spits. There's not enough footage in the world for that. There's no SD card big enough for that. <laughs> so this is it, guys. El Diablo. The same size as this melon. We're going to be testing this thing out quite a little bit. I am very excited for this. I feel like a demigod with this. <laughs> This is a, a god slayer. A this god is what slayer. This is. Right, it looks right. like a legendary item in like any <laughs> video game. This is the thing you spend your entire week, your whole summer trying to earn. Three, two, one. <laughs> wow. That is the closest thing to cutting a watermelon like a tomato with a kitchen knife. But the thing was, was that like it cut clean and then it split and then like that the skull part like cracked Separated it. it. So yeah. it wasn't like a clean cut. It was more like an axe. So that's what this is going to do. It's going to slash into you and then all this stuff is going to split it open. That's just savagery. <laughs> that is very savage. Savagery. <laughs> I feel like cutting a tomato with a kitchen knife, but with giant fruits. All right, double axe penetration. Are you ready? Oh, man. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, El Diablo. You want a little drink? You've been working real hard. <laughs> that is so sick. It is like the most weight I think I've ever felt on anything that just downward force. It oh just feels like an un it's just gonna keep going. I feel like if I don't stop, it's gonna go through the table. Okay, guys, so originally there was a sharper spike on top of this, but I dropped it and it kind of dented it. But the fact that it comes the spike is sick. So you just, yeah, you dropped it really hard. I, I mean, did drop I, it pretty yeah, hard. So yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna give any points away from that. I dropped it very hard, tip first. So here's go, see, it's still pretty sharp though. This is a stabbing ability for an ax. Ready? Let's do it. We just made a Coke rainbow. <laughs> Could that have made any more mess? That was with one puncture on this thing, dude. This oh, thing was awesome. is a literal animal. Okay, you did like the gallon flip. How about the two liter flip? If you would land something, I would like it. Okay, guys. So last time we had the best rated sword. We did the king slice. We cut through a bunch of melons. Play the clip. <laughs> And different things like that. It was amazing. But this time, we're doing the Diablo Strike. I'm gonna go through three of these containers, hopefully with it. Are you ready? You're gonna go through all three. At least two and wound the last one. Man, I'm, I'm honestly <laughs> so excited to see. Ignore the change of jugs, okay? Ready? The reason why we change the jugs is this one fell over in the middle of it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Like that. <laughs> ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Oh! I got through the first two and into this one completely. Do you see that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me just hook them up like that. So I consider that a kill. Honestly, the only reason I think I didn't go through all three was because I was going down. I could feel the resistance of the skull. Yeah, yeah. So I think if it would have been flat, it would have went straight through. But you know what? The style points kind of make up for oh, it. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, especially if like if you like lace this whole skull with poison. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And all these tips too. Just too poisoned. <laughs> boom, you poisoned. Got the flu. Boom, boom, you got the flu. <laughs> boom, you got the common cold. And you have the swine flu. <laughs> Whoa, he's, that's actually probably worse than poison. All right, we got El Diablo again. So what's gonna happen is Parker, Parker wants to get a chance to try his weapon. So what we're gonna do, guys, is here. I am going to, I want to just try this one out because it's badass looking. So what we're gonna do is this is the jug challenge. Parker's gonna get a chance to win your guys' bow with his axe too. What we're gonna do is bring out the jugs. I'm gonna go in on this one and see who does, who's, you know, whose axe does more damage. And you guys can use that to make your guys' bow on which one's better. So I'm going first, then we're gonna fresh jug and then Parker gets a chance. Ain't that, that little uh, axe is up for the challenge? My little axe? 
It's that. up to the biggest challenge. <laughs> but does it have a skull on it? You know what? It doesn't have a skull, but you know what it has? What? A little thing called heart. Oh, there's a sternum. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, my heart's over here. That's my sternum. <laughs> oh, well, you know, it's got that too. It has a sternum too. <laughs> All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two. No, I'm not ready. We're gonna end now. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I want you to make sure you're ready for this. <laughs> so, guys, the goal is, is for me to try and deplete that jug. Let's see what happens. Ready? Three, two, one. I'm going. Hey, it's the water now. I know what you're doing. There's no water there's, here. There's water in there, and your time is still going. All right. One hit. It took one hit. One hit. One hit or quitter. That was it right there, dude. I tooted and booted. <laughs> I tooted and booted. All right, well, you know what? It's my turn now. All right, let's see what your turn means. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Parker, let's see that little, uh, that little axe. Right, you know how mine had a spike? It. Like I said, yours is a one inch though yep. on it with a little pup plug. Hey, you know what? Right. Sometimes people want that. Alright, who's getting well, I don't know who you're talking about, but <laughs> alright, alright, let's see. Can Parker deplete it faster than I did? It literally did be one hit. Let's see what Parker's can do. I'm for you, I have an action. I think I'm cool because I got the same one market. Alright, here we go. Ready? ready? Are you ready? I'm always ready. Okay, I thought you said you're ready. Alright. Sometimes you're not ready for these things. Sometimes they come when you're not expecting them. Alright, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Oh shoot! <laughs> yes! The axe is stuck! No! You've already lost your time! Oh! Oh! Ah! Your axe is stuck every time! I'd be really messing up that person! <laughs> you know what? You just threw the axe out of desperation. The axe is still stuck. He still doesn't know what to do with himself. You know what? But this person's dead for sure. Uh, yeah, I, I think they probably just died from boredom. They probably died waiting for you to get the axe out of their chest. <laughs> uh, is, this, is this gonna happen? <laughs> well, you know what? This is just my weapon now. Did a piece just come off in there? This is supposed to be- Oh my- Show them! No. Show them this, damn it! Show them this! There's nothing to show! There's nothing to see here! <laughs> this is supposed to be best reviewed! The you top of it! And your tip oh. came off! Yeah, but it didn't break <laughs> off! You no, this is it screws on. It screws on. It's a screw. It screws that on. That is literally it's not even a screw. A screw. You screw thought on. it was no, a, screw. It's, it's a screw. You thought it was a screw. It it's does. literally it's not. I promise if I can get this out, maybe one day I can, I can show you. Maybe one day <laughs> next year. It was supposed to be best reviewed and the tip of it literally came off. Well, that is actually it, guys. Parker's still over here trying to figure out how to get the axe out of there. I think right now, right now in this moment is where I want you guys to make your votes on who won. One eternity later. All right, have you voted yet? I got it. <laughs> I got it. All right, let me just help you out. I see it's screw. Hey, you can't just look <laughs> that. Well, you're gonna burn the money. Your time's almost up.